Why? Because that's how I like my math. Well done. Area of a sector. The pizza problem. I know what you're thinking. Pizza's never a problem. All right. Here's the story and how it goes. We're looking for the area of the sector. Fancy, eh? It's gonna be half the radius squared times theta. We developed that in a previous problem. Here's our problem. Uh-huh. We went to a party and we had pizza. But we were concerned about our weight. So we only had two slices. Uh-huh. So now we wait. This pizza is 12 inches. Probably a medium. Maybe even got it for $5.95. Delivery style. Um, so you have a 12 inch pizza, you ate two slices. The problem is, how do you find out the angle mm -hmm, in radians? Oh boy. We're gonna set up a proportion, and here we go. It's the whole to the part. And then I start. We're trying to find this piece. Woo! It gets. <laughs> Theta is to 2 pi as, wait for it, we had 2 slices out of how many? 12 slices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we had 2 out of 12 when we're looking for theta out of 2 pi. I guess I should have called this angle. And then this one slices. Anyway, that's all nice is, and I find out that my theta is going to be, whoom, that's a 4, that's a 12, this is a pi over a 3. So now we have our angle. Our angle is going to be pi over 3. Now what are we going to do with that? We're going to put it in here. And how? Well, on over here. I have my fancy area. Yeah, this is going to be 1 half. Our pizza is... 12 inches, and then we're gonna square that dang thing, and we're gonna multiply it by our theta, which we found to be a pi over a three. So then we're gonna put it into our machine. So I'm gonna take one half and multiply it by 12 squared times pi over three. Two -hoo, two -hoo. And that's how we get 75.39. And then, that's how we get that we have eaten 75.4 square inches. And that's a square meal. <laughs> I know. We were trying to find out how much cheese we ate. Because this problem was a little cheesy. Ooh, ooh.